All right, so we're going over uh, the reality capture. Um, you should be able to see the screen right now. I'm just hitting that stop, the top uh, reality capture button there. Um, when you have the device, it's going to go over these uh, tutorials. You can click the videos to see the help options there, and it will give you a basic uh, visual like that. You can turn it off if you'd like. All right. So it's just starting it up. It'll just ask you to take a picture. Uh, we'll do that. I'll do it to get the window. All right. So you can, can click the photo button on the screen you, on there, the or a uh, red box. Just click on that. It goes bling. And now you can see on the screen it says one foot left, one foot right. And it's basing it off of how close you are to uh, the nearest physical object. That being the wall in front of me. So I'm going to take just one step to my left since I don't have a lot of room on my right. Take another picture. Okay, it's loading. Alright, so now you got those two pictures. I'm going to click the measure button, which is the middle of the red button on the bottom right. It's storing the image, it's going to make some adjustments. Now, it's, yeah, again, you can always see these tutorial videos, but we'll skip through that since I'm going to be going over that. All right, now you see that green bar at the top of the screen going across? It is taking the image and um, flattening it out because a lot of things will look curved because it's a picture. And now you see the two check marks at the top right corner. That means both pictures are good quality. It is confident it will make good measurements. If you do see an error, it will, or if it asks you to take pictures again, then simply take pictures again. All right, so first we click on the distance button, and then we click two points. I'm gonna measure from the top there, you see that red dot, to the bottom of the window. All right, so we got that first line. It's not quite perfect where we want it, so we simply click on that top part. It's gonna highlight it, it's gonna outline it so you know that which line you've got selected. And now, we're focused in on this top corner. So now we go up to the very top of this window, to that point we want, which is a little dark, so maybe it, we would retake it, but in this case I'll, I know where that point is, so I'm marking it there. And then we click next, it's going to take us to the bottom. And then we just move and over the screen to that second point, and then hit next, and we and then also done. Now it's measuring from the top to bottom of that window, and it says it's 6.7 feet. Now we can also do the horizontal, we do just distance again, click the first point, and click the second point, and so it puts it where you th it thinks you wanted it to go, again we just click on it to correct it, sometimes it gets it perfect, sometimes not. Alright, so we got that first point, then we hit next, and I want to go to this corner as well, yep, see it locked onto that same point, and then we click done. So now you know the width of that window is 3.9 feet, and you can do that for doorways, for um, objects in the room. Uh, you can even measure and um, light switches or anything else that you, like if you take a picture of the wall, uh, if you come look over here, this outlet, if you took a picture of this wall, you could measure the height from the base of this to the bottom, the area of that light or to the ceiling, distance from here to the wall, uh, really whatever it is you needed. And you could save the picture and if you forgot to take a measurement, just simply open up the picture, take the measurement that you forgot to take. As long as you're taking pictures of everything, then you're good to go.